Better than 41,000 have been waiting all day for this moment. Postseason baseball in our nation's capital. And it begins once again in a must win situation. The National League wild card game. It's presented by Hankook Tire as we watch the Milwaukee Brewers take on the Washington Nationals. Great Council sends out Trent Grisham, the rookie, to hit leadoff. Yasmani Grandal's had a tremendous season. Then it's Mike Moustakis, Keston Hira. His last seven starts have not been good. Eight home runs given up in 38 innings pitched. But talking with him yesterday, he said he is good to go and good for 120 quality pitches. Payoff pitch to the leadoff hitter. Missed. Low and away. He walks the leadoff hitter here, and here's Yosmani Grandal. The switch hitting catcher to right and well hit. That ball is out of here. A first inning two run shot by Grandal. The first pitch he saw from Scherzer goes over the wall and right, and they are stunned here in D.C. Grandall signed a one-year deal. 3-2. In the air to left. Soto over and makes the play for out number one. One ball, two strikes. Scherzer to the plate. And he struck him out. On the ground to third. Rendon throws him out. But some first inning damage done. Yasmani Grandal yanks one over the wall and right. Brewers on top. Trey Turner. Leads it off, followed by Adam Eaton, Anthony Rendon, the most unassuming superstar in baseball, hits third. Big arm. He missed two months with a left oblique injury. He's only pitched twice since then. Two starts of two innings apiece. He starts game one of these playoffs, the wild card game in the National League, and Arcia throws out Turner. And there is strikeout number one for the Brewers right-hander. Two straight 100-mile-an-hour fastballs from Woodruff. He pops this one up in the infield. Eric Thames squeezes it, and that is a 1-2-3 bottom of the first for Woodruff. We head to the second in D.C. He came out tonight. Gave up a two-run homer in the top half of the first to Yasmani Grandal. And this is Eric Thames who launches to right center field and the Brewers have a 3-0 lead. The people here are stunned. That one was off a hanging breaking ball from, from Max again. Tenth home run now given up since he came off the aisle all oh, to left-handed hitter Let to come off the bag and make that tag first pitch swinging is Orlando Arcia who dumps one into right field Woodruff squares again and lays this one down the play will be to first Arcia moves to second two down Another run crosses for Milwaukee. Eric Thames, solo homer, three zip. He waits on a 2-2 from Woodruff, and here it comes. Went upstairs and got him. Second strikeout. 0-2 oh, on the ground and slapped in the left for the first Nationals hit of the night. It comes with one down here in the bottom half of the second. Great swing. In the air, deep left. 
Back toward that wall and caught by Ryan Braun with his back against the wall. Fooled him and struck him out. Moustakas out number two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Scherzer. His first one, two, three inning. We'll be back. Robles waiting on Woodruff and a 2-2 pitch. Three. Stee, a rank three call. We don't need the usage <laughs> chart tonight. Well hit to the gap in left center field, and that ball is gone. Trey Turner gets the Nationals on the board. It's 3-1. You saw Woodruff trying to get him out with some sliders away, guys. Turner can absolutely crush fastballs. He went with 98 right here. Turner got the bat head of the ball. Get Washington on the board and get this crowd back in the game. How about the home run dancing? The Nationals, 335 RBIs with two outs, led the National League this season. That looked like the old We Are the Titans as he <laughs> went into the dugout. Meantime, Eaton pops it up, and Arcia squeezes it for out number three. But Trey Turner gets the Nats on the board as we head to the fourth. Baseball organization and was... A fan favorite. He goes the other way this time. And Soto against the wall cannot make the play. Thames is at second and he will hold up there. When it left the bat, it looked like a routine fly ball to left. It drifted. On the ground to second. Thames will advance to third with two down, but instead has to continue to work on Arcia. Oh. Gets him to wave at the breaking pitch, and they throw the first to complete the strikeout. Brewers get a runner to third, but can't score in. So those two know what it's like to work through something and come back. No balls and a strike to Anthony Rendon, who grounds to third. Mustak has made a good play, charged that ball on the backhand and threw him out. The 2-0, line to left, Braun over and makes the play. One, two, three inning for Brandon Woodruff. Four innings in the books. And that... Earlier in the season, he's a guy that you expected six, seven innings out of. And Scherzer walks Shaw to lead off here in the fifth. Fouled by Grisham and a long run for Trey Turner. If there's anybody designed to make a long run, it's one of the fastest guys in the league. And Turner flagged it down for the first out. And here it comes. Ball four, two on, with one out. Popped him up. Rendon, infield fly. He's gotten here for the third time tonight. He walks a couple, but they don't hurt him. We're in the middle of a fifth in the wild card game on TBS. Mark Burley was always the mark to time to shoot for. Suter works about that quickly. On the ground is short. Arcia throws him out for the first out. To left, that'll fall for a hit. Robles aboard with two out. 
Oh, Robles took a good at bat there for the youngster. Robles with the lead at first, Suter to the plate, hard hit, and look at the stop by Moustakis, who throws across, and he is safe! Thames came off the bag and couldn't get back. It was a great stop on a ball that was absolutely smoked. And yes, the ball just really sailed. And it looks like the Brewers are going to review it. I don't know why he's absolutely safe at first base. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what the they're key. It's got to be what they're looking at. I mean, Thames did not think he did. That's why he returned to the base. But still. There you go. Get ready and get the hands out. In the air to left center field. And Lorenzo Cain makes the catch. End of threat. End of five on TBS. Uncharted territory for Steven Strasburg on in relief for the first time in his career in the regular season or postseason. Scherzer went five. Strasburg is on to face Ryan Braun. And the first pitch is lined to left. Under normal circumstances, he might think about challenging the arm and left, but Braun, and he said he approached Strasburg and said, how do you feel about the idea of relief as that bat is shattered? And a double play. A one-two. Got him with the change. Double play ball helps. Strike out to end it. 26 and two-thirds innings, 45 strikeouts for the big tall lefty. And I'll tell you what, with Rendon Soto coming up, him so and Garrett Cole, those two guys yeah. are going to get the Brinks truck. Who tied him up. Strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Pomerantz in a 1-2-3-6. got that slider with it. I felt like his arm might have been, in, you know, mixed up in that slot. That's the one he's been using this inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the top half of the seventh. Time to stretch in D.C. A leadoff hitter on. That hasn't happened for Washington tonight. To short. Marcy is one of the slickest fielders in the game. It's one down. He's six this week. He hopes he celebrates it in Los Angeles during the an LDS. But he taps weakly to third here. And that's another three up, three down inning. Six up, six down for Pomerantz out of the Milwaukee pen. Two run home run in the first. It's a stand and eight count. Yeah, yeah. Did he go? Yes, he did. Says Corey Blazer down at third. The line, fair ball. That'll be in the corner. And Hira with a stand up double with two outs here in the eighth. On the ground to third. And that'll do it in the eighth. Brewers get a runner in the scoring position. Can't bring him home. Here he comes, folks. And Josh Hader trying to nail it down. Milwaukee hasn't trailed in this game. It's 3-1. And there is a strikeout number one. Hader to Taylor with a 3-2. And he hit him. Or did he? Randall ran down there as if that had hit the bat. 
the, the checking to see if he checks swing. We've seen that called a lot this season. Do you remember Charlie Culberson with the Atlanta Braves square yeah. on the bunt? They called it on him. He got hit flush in the face. Look at his arm and see if he's trying to see if the, you could see Boy. his skin move when the when the ball hit his arm there at the same time that it was hitting the yeah. knob of the bat. And you know what's interesting if it had been called the other way they might have had to It'd the be a foul ball. Exactly. And he got him. Second strike out of the inning for a hater. Shattered his bat on the 2 1, and that blooper is going to fall. Runners will be at first and third. Fastball, Rendon wasn't going to bite, and they're loaded. Wide drive, base hit to right. That'll score one, that'll score two as the ball gets away from Grisham and right. That's going to score three runs, and the Washington Nationals have the lead. They got Soto hung up. They tag him out, but nobody in this joint cares. Incredible. The Nats take a lead to the ninth. As the left handed Doolittle, who could have faced things, but more confidence in the right handed Hudson. James with all kind of power. Goes down swinging for out number one. One ball, one strike, one out. One run lead for the Nats. Up the middle, base hit. Lorenzo Kane is one for four, and that one's big. A bloop single in the second has struck out and grounded out since and he pops up behind the plate Suzuki two down to center field Robles back ball game and the Washington Nationals are L.A. bound. <laughs>